Yo, so check this out. I just made a team, right? And I was testing it out, played a few games, and I find this one dude, and what happens in this game is insane. Absolutely insane. I just got I just gotta get into it, right? Check this out. Even before the game starts, he goes, wait, I lost 350 ELO playing this team. He was having some kind of dream or something, and apparently he dreamt of his fate. So look at this, right? Lead with Baxcalibur, but it's actually the Zoroark in disguise. And he closed combat's turn one. What a fantastic turn one play right there by us and uh, we can hyper voice this king gambit for 41 percent beautiful damage now we get to go into gray tusk as he tries to sucker punch not gonna work and um then sacks off the gray tusk here right this was only the beginning this was only the beginning of what went down look at this hydragon comes in i'm gonna go hard fortress right he goes for the draco meteor i'm not even like defensive but it only just takes 44 watch this nasty plot and check this out the feature for today is loaded dice Pin Missile Fortress, <laughs> Oko's the Hydreigon. Then we have the Dragonite here, goes for the sub, we're not locked in of course, it's loaded dice, not choice band. Then he goes King Gambit here, where we get Gyro Ball again, and then we can go for the Earthquake, however the Katao knocks us out with a crit, I don't think it would've, the Earthquake probably would've knocked this thing out, and that's fine though. We can go for the Close Combat, Revenge this Mon, and get rid of it. Now he's gonna I think, go into Iron Valiant, and now check this out, right? Goes for the Swords Dance on the Great Tusk, as it does 77 to this thing. He'll probably knock us out here with the Spirit Break. Oko's after all, we are minus two. And uh, let me bring in Baxcalibur right for the Ice Shard to knock this Pokemon out. Get rid of this thing. Dragonite comes in. Check this out, right? You think I went Dragonite here? Watch, I actually did not go Dragonite. I went into Zoroark and Hyper Voice, right? Go, it goes right through the sub. Knocking it out, then he goes, eh, <laughs> I'll code this thing too. Um, so that was just a really funny game. It's like, it's a fun team, I just made it nice, and then dips. So, I mean, this was a great start to the video, but what's poppin' everyone, hello? Now, this team here, let's just go over the team. I have uh, Loaded Dice Fortress with Curse 3 attacks. I'm just running Max Attack, um, no Chinese EV spread required for this set, as we want to um, have as much HP as possible, just 248, 252, 8, classic, but... Loaded Dice Pin Missile is a very, very heat set. And um, Terra Normal, because if we, for example, face something like Shadow Ball Dragapult, like Dragapult, Golden Go, or whatever, we're gonna wanna go for their Ghost Stabs, and we can actually, um, first of all, remove the Fire Weakness. Second of all, become immune to Ghost, take them off guard, Oko them potentially with Gyro Ball or Earthquake after a Curse. And um, yeah, Gyro Ball powering up because Curse lowers our speed. So we'll be doing stronger gyro balls and pin missile is just an all around strong move with either 100 or 125 base power thanks to the loaded dice. King Gambit, good mon, SD3 attacks. I lost the game while testing to a um, a Pokemon, what was that Pokemon called? It was a uh, Skeledurge because it was faster, but now I'm running max speed, adamant. Then we have Great Tusk, good mon for rapid spin. I actually just noticed I don't have stealth rocks, but you know what? We're going to go with it. I'm not going to <laughs> add it right now. Then we have uh, Hisui and Zoroark, uh, four attacks, you already know. Choice specs, and we get the Banded Baxcalibur with the Dragon Terra. Very powerful Pokemon, and then finally Dragonite. Chesto Rest, you know, the stuff that destroys me, I gotta use as well. And that is gonna be the team. Let's go ahead and hop into our first game. Get into this right now, and get some more. Hopefully some more good games, of course. Now, first game here, it does seem as if a Zoroark lead is is what we're gonna do. I definitely want to keep probably what, what do we keep in the back let's think I think maybe maybe just maybe what we can do here is we can ooh you know what we could do we could actually do Zoroark right and what if we disguise with King Gambit in the back let's disguise this King Gambit in the back right check this out Torkoal lead, we have a King Gambit here. Now we go right for the Hyper Voice, immediate, and 97%, very good damage. They Wisp me, does not matter. Now we get another Hyper Voice off. Actually, no, we don't because Serral Ledge is gonna come in, right? So we now switch into Great Tusk. As they switch into Serral Ledge, beautiful. We can go here for the potential knockoff, or Close Combat is actually a really fire play. Look at this play. Not the play I wanted, but they actually red card us out of the Baxcalibur. So this works pretty decently. I feel like an Icicle Crash is the play here, as it will do tons of damage to this Mon. It's, we're Choice Bandit, so um, it's going to do a lot of damage right here, right now. 
Kind of reminds me of my uh, draft league team. Actually, it had it had five, it has five out of the six mons in my draft league team. That's a lot. Draining kiss does a lot back, but icicle crash will knock it out now. Sixty-two, right? Yeah. So yeah, I did. I did have to trade away brute bonnet in order for me to get magnezone. I really wanted magnezone for my team because I didn't like um, revivroom as much as a steel type. So I had to make some sacrifices, unfortunately, that I really didn't want to do, but. I think Magnuson's a lot cooler of a Pokemon for a Steel type, and gives me Volt Turn with uh, Slithering. Speaking of my draft, by the way, uh, for Draft League. But um, we're gonna start a timer because they're not they don't know what to do. Oh, Walking Wake. Ooh. Okay, so that's just a good amount. So the question is, what do we switch into now? What do we switch into now? Because I feel like Great Tusk is great. Fantastic Mon. Actually, maybe what we could do... We have not Terrid yet, right? How much do we need King Gambit? I feel like we don't need it that much in this matchup. I'm going to sack it. We go for the Dragon Pulse. I think they're choice. I don't know if they're choice or not. I actually don't know if they're choice or not. I'm actually going to um, Iron Head here. I think is the play. Is They're probably going to go Great Tusk. Unless they don't. Is that really choice specs? I don't know if that is, but it did a, it did a decent amount. I think it might be choice specs actually. Their protosynthesis speed probably choice specs, right? So yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, Iron Head here. It's pretty safe. Hits a lot of stuff, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna go Great Tusk anyways, or the Double Dragon Pulse. But getting rid of this monster, like Torkoal's almost gone. This is where a scenario would, where rocks would be great, but I mean they do have Magic Bounce. And Great Tusk. Imagine if my draft had Great Tusk on it. That would be ama amazing. Like I would have, I would have definitely wanted to get Great Tusk over Ting Lu, just because of the Protosynthesis and Rapid Spin and stuff like that. It's just so nice. But unfortunately, can't get everything you want in life. But you can work hard to get most of it, or maybe even all of it. Who knows? If I just steal their Mon somehow, this guy is really thinking about this next move. Really thinking about it. But already, just like that first game that we just had, not this one and the one before where I showed you that I just played and then I just hit, immediately hit record, I knew it was going to be a, a, a fantastic start to the video. Uh, okay, so Great Tusk is in... Um, don't know what this thing is going to do in particular. I think I'll just go into my own Great Tusk here as the Earthquake. I'm gonna knock off this thing's leftover so they can't heal anymore, and then I can probably just fire off some some headlong rushes and stuff. Cause I want this thing's uh Yeah, they might they might try to rapid spin or whatever, it's, it's fine if they do. I will knock off though. Their defense boost is gone, so that means that we can actually damage this thing quite a bit. So it's really good. What will they decide to do, is the question. Because they're going to time out soon. You know, actually, there might be a way for us to bring in uh, Fortress versus Brute Bonnet. <laughs> versus Brute Bonnet and go for like a pin missile. That actually would be kind of fire. But I think they're going to just time out and lose. Which is unfortunate for them. Yeah, I think they're just, yeah, they're gone. That's quite unfortunate. Sun team really, I mean, they, they were walking not awake. <laughs> not awake at all. Oh, this guy's team is, is crazy. Okay, so... I do feel like Fortress actually... Yo, Fortress? Might actually be kind of fire. Hold up. It might actually be kind of fire. We probably have to... We're going to lead Zoroark first, right? We're going to put Fortress second. We're going to do probably King Gambit in the back, right? And I think just immediate Hyper Voice here is the play. This is what I think we do. They go Toad Scroll on King Gambit, which is kind of crazy, but now we get to Twikio this one. They go Poltygeist, that is fine. 
All we got to do here is... What do we have to do here, actually? Um... Well, we have Sturdy Fortress, right? We do have a Sturdy Fortress, which is actually kind of nice. You know what we could do, actually? We could, um... Oh, if this is weak armor, does Pin Missile actually destroy this? I feel like it... Maybe? <laughs> it might? That'd be kind of fire if it did. So what do I need to do here? What do I need to do here? Let's think. Um... Because this definitely has a Focus Sash, right? If Pin Missile is strong enough, because we're max attack, to like weak armor them and destroy them, that'd be actually amazing. Watch. Shadow Ball, sturdy, right? I could have also Terra Normal, which would be kind of cool too. But look. Ooh, two. It's going to do more now. Three. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the whole screen. No, the screen. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yo, gotta leave a like for that one. That's fire. That is fire. Okay, Toad Scroodle is in. All we gotta do here is... Let them have it. So no more ghost type, right? Yeah, no more ghost type. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So we go Zoroark. Hyper Voice here. And gone. Cool. Next is probably Cloister with the Sash. Which, I mean, this the thing is going to wear off soon. Yeah, so like literally, we're fine. All we got to do is just attack this. Sash is there. Okay, now we sack a Pokemon. I think we sack Great Tusk, I think is what we do. Yeah, so let's sack Great Tusk here, I think is the play. Drill Run. Okay. Kind of nice, kind of nice. So let them do that. Now we get to go into Dragonite. Go right for the extreme speed here as they go in DD, which is absolutely fine. I mean, that's absolutely fine, right? I'm okay with that. Let's just Dragonite's up. I don't know what set this is. Oh, Encore. Cool. So back in the Zoroark we go, and we just spam uh, different moves. Actually, yeah, let's go Zoroark here. Dazzling Gleam is whatever. Let's just Hyper Voice here. Let the terrain get worn out over time. And we can definitely save our Terra for later. Ooh, okay, nice. I don't know if they could matter, but that's good. I will take it. Armor Rouge is in. Let's uh, Hyper Voice this. Does a lot. Maybe I should have Terra'd, but that's fine. Now we get to go into... Into what? Into what? Into... Probably... Dragonite. Which will live in Expanding Force, it should. Have they already Terra'd? I don't remember. I think Dragonite takes one of these, so I'm just going to... Um, Oh, they might also be Endure. Let go King Gambit here. Stored power. Okay, cool. This is all right. So now the question becomes... Who do we go into here? So I think all we got to do, right, is... um. Okay, I think we don't need Backscalibur. Let's go into this. Let's click... Oh yeah, we're naturally faster anyways, right? So, we get a plus one too, which is kind of cool. So let's click Crash here. Let them endure, because we're not going to Earthquake them. And they got a times two speed boost, which is fine. I mean, we're going to extreme speed right after anyways. They are super, super weak. Now we get to go Dragonite here. Let's, um... Honestly, I think we can just, uh... We could, what, can we, can we DD up? Hatterene's in. Um, I think this mod just wins. With uh, probably Terra E speed. This thing is probably, I don't know how bulky this thing is. Yeah, that's like not bulky at all. Eject button? Yeah, good game. <laughs> Eject yourself out of the game. And that's that. Okay, so we can just extreme speed this. Um, actually, 
Don't even need to. I'm not going to waste my E-speeds. Well, I don't even... I have five. I have enough. I have enough. This thing doesn't have Endure either. Knock it out. Cool, cool, cool. And game. Beautiful game. Beautiful. So we got a complete game on this one. So that was great. And Fortress had such a fun moment in this one. Pin missling the... I mean, if I terra that Mon, that would have been actually clean too. But I think Terra Dragonite in the end was really nice for the Hatterene. I mean, I guess it had a jack button, so it didn't really matter. But yeah, that was fire. That was clean. <laughs> Amazing. Um, next game. To the next. That was really cool. Enjoyed that one quite a bit. Um, ooh, okay, so we got the Orthorum team. Unfortunately, Orthorum does wall the fortress. But I think that's okay, because all we gotta do here, right, is we're going to lead like this, and we're going to immediately flamethrower here. And Orthrum is dead, so that opens up Fortress pretty well. Nice, no Shed Tail whatsoever, so that's great. I like that very much. <laughs> nice thumbnail text too. Yeah. <laughs> Would have been a terrible lead, yeah. <laughs> it's such a... It's such a deceptive mod. I've seen even people like didn't even know it was on my team and it was on my team and they're like, oh shoot, I forgot to look at team preview. Team preview is like the most important part of the game. Um, okay, Backscalibur's in. We go Fortress here as they Dragon Dance up. This is a Gyro Ball for us now. I don't know what Terra this is, but I think we're fine either way. This Gyro Ball is going to hurt a lot. Oh no! They're gone! <laughs> oh shoot! Yo, that's crazy. And they forfeit! Yo, forfeit on the fortress! <laughs> forfeit on the fortress. Is that for real? <laughs> It's for real, yes. Oh, only here you see the forfeit to the fortress. That's crazy. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, Zoroark, fortress, and like the disguise and stuff like that. Such a good combination. So good. I mean, his Hisui and Zoroark, I hope at one point in time I get in draft because that Mon is going to get me free wins at any point in time. Like, that Mon is crazy. Um, wow. Insane game. Like, it was just two turns, or three turns, but crazy. All right, next game here we got is up against uh, another Hisuian Zoroark, so definitely have our work cut out for us here. What I want to do is I probably would still lead with it, but what I think I... Hmm. Let's think, let's think. What I also could do is lead back Scalibur too. That's another option. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Here's what I think I will do. I'm gonna lead Zoroark, obviously, right? But now the question is who to put in the back. I could put Grey Tusk in the back. I could. Ooh, you know what I do, actually? You know what I do? I put Grey Tusk in the back. And then I click... I could click Flamethrower here, or... I feel like that's what I do with versus Backscalibur. Unless it's actually not the Hisui and Zoroark. What is it? Oh, it is the Backscalibur. Shoot. Okay, that's that's what it is. Um, that's fine. Let's go into this mon and let's click Gyro Ball as they go Volcron and burn me immediately. So not a great start right now, but there's a lot of potential to come back from it. Let's go back Scalibur here. They Quiver Dance up. We can just Glaive Rush, I think. I'm sure we'll live any hit. Oh, unless they do that. Um, What do we do? What do we do? So Dragonite can still beat this Mon. Quiver Dance up again. That's fine. Morning Sun is fine, whatever. Okay, let's just switch into Dragonite. DD up. 
DD up again. And I think let's just uh, rest here. Cool. Terra normal E speed. Still lives, but that's fine. I mean, this mod being gone is going to be amazing for us. Take a Corviknight. I can literally just rest it off. Oops, wrong move. But actually, this is better. This is better. This is actually much better. Rest Dragon is actually going to come through. For real. Okay, so... Claude's Hour, we quake this thing. Ooh, dead. Wait, it's a Zoroark. <laughs> okay, that's fire. Hold up, that's actually really good. I think we now just... Um, DD up again. Rest here. Burn some turns real quick. I think we should be able to live anything, hopefully. Maybe. Can we live? Nope, never mind. Okay, so now what do we do? What do we do? Uh, they Glaive Rushed. I think that might be... I'm not sure what set that is, actually. Not sure what set that is, but... Volcarona is, like, super weak. Volcarona is super weak. Let's go King Gambit here, and let's click... I think Swords Dance. Yep, perfect. Iron Head here. We'll knock this out. Beautiful. Volcarona's in. We go back Scalibur. Nice. Wisp doesn't work. Now we can just click Crash. Hit the Corve, and I think it'll be a 2 hit KO. Ooh, ooh, close, close, close. Close. Let's get the flinch. So they actually Brave Bird U-turn. I actually could flinch this thing. Flinch. I'm Choice Band. Flinch. Why can I not flinch anything? It's a 30% chance. It's like Scald Burn. Oh, I think he might have put himself... Kind of close. <laughs> kind of close, kind of close. Okay, that was a roll. Nice. <laughs> Got the high roll here. They call me the high roller. Backscalibur's in. We have to go into... Fortress. Gyro Ball here. They go Claude, which is fine. I'm gonna Gyro Ball again. Yeah, Volcarona. Ooh, gone. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now we go into Great Tusk. They set up rocks. That's fine. We get to a Rapid Spin. We can now knock off. We can now spin again. Now we can Headlong Rush. Doesn't do much. But we're going to head Long Rush again anyways. And then last is Backscalibur. Close combat here. And we've pulled it through. Pulled back once again. Ah, okay, that game was actually tough, but... Saw how we did it there? Saw how we did it? We did it. <laughs> That's so fire, though. Yo, this team is so nice. Like, we did definitely um, have to play against mind games that we we're bringing to the table. And as you saw, it, it worked in their advantage because I thought it would be a Zoroark lead, but... It was not. However, we came through that Terra Fairy Volcarona was um, insane. Very insane, but we played around it. The Rest Dragonite, though, is really good. Really, really good. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad Fortress is actually doing some good stuff as well in this video. The whole team is doing really well. Like, Zoroark Mind Games plus Fortress is so good. Yeah, happy we're getting it to see, uh, getting to see it put in, put in a lot of work. But hopefully, you can continue that for the next two more games, probably. Uh, rain team. Okay, so we are up against rain. This I think means that we lead Zoroark. You know, what I think what we do is we put Zoroark, and then maybe we um. Ooh, you know what we do? Actually, we uh. I think we put Great Tusk here. Or no, what I'm hmm, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, let's do Zoroark, right? Then let's do I like King Gambit in the back. Or I like King Gambit here, yeah. So King Gambit's pretty cool. Cause now all we gotta do is just go right for the hyper voice, turn one. 91, respectable damage, and we can hyper voice again. So this thing is almost dead. They go Claude here, which is fine. We get to go into uh, Great Tusk. As they recover. Cool. And now we can knock off here. 
Is it toxic? I can now just knock off again. Or maybe I just headlong. Yeah, knock off. Cool. So rain is on limited turns now. Only three turns of rain left. The rain user is gone. Beautiful. Walking wake is in. We probably want to save this thing for the king gambit. We probably could sack something though. I'm not sure who do we sack. I feel like King Gambit is pretty useful. Our own King Gambit is pretty useful for Sucker Punch. But we have priority in other forms and other ways. So maybe we don't need King Gambit. Maybe what we do is we need... I think we keep Great Tusk. I mean, it's kind of good. Let's go King Gambit. We don't need as much. The Hydro Pump. Let's go into um, Zoroark and click Hyper Voice, I think is the play. Just to damage this thing as much as possible. Put it in range of E-Speed. And then clean from there, I think is what we do. They go King Gambit. So let's go into... Uh, Let's actually Hyper Voice again. Ah, they Sucker Punch. Okay, that's fine. I thought they had double, but... Because they only had one turn of rain. But this is alright. I think this is fine. We can literally just click Headlong Rush. Unless they tear this Mon, which I don't know if they will or not. But even if they do, I mean... If they're flying, we have Ice Shard. Which will go before their Sucker Punch. So the question is, who do they sack? Who do they sack? Clodzire. Okay, Clodzire's gone. That's really good for us. Um, do we need to keep Tusks around? Maybe. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Fortress might actually put in the work in the end game. Maybe. It all depends on a few things. Actually, Palmod has Revival Blessing, so they could actually revive Amon if they want to. Palmot can revive. Okay, so it's good to keep in mind. I forgot it, it could revive things, but even if it revives the Pelipper, we have like priority with Dragonite. They go King Gambit here. Um, gonna CC just in case. Okay, so that means that does some damage. So they've already tethered with this Mon, which is good, which is really, really good for us. Let's knock off here. Um, and now we get to go into Backscalibur. Probably just Ice Shard this. Ice Shard should be pretty good. Just all we gotta do is get things in range, right? Get things in range and we'll, we'll be fine. We haven't tarried yet either, so this is good. Start a timer as well, put on the pressure. You have pressure on your hands now. But I, I think Dragonite can kinda win in the end. I'm pretty sure it can, at least. Ooh, little Floatzel switch. Let's Ice Shard again. Pomot? Ooh, I don't think that was your switch in because now you are in range of another Ice Shard and in range of Extreme Speed as well without any kind of setup. Floatzel's back. Oh no! You're dancing around my Ice Shard. They are trying, but they are failing. Not bad at all. Walking Wake is in. I think all we do here is we definitely Ice Shard again. Like, definitely Ice Shard again. The Draco Meteor, that's fine. We get to go Dragonite. We get to normal Terra Dragon Dance and win the game. So now we can just um, Earthquake here. Oh, sorry. Extreme Speed here. I think, I think is what we do. No point risking any crits or anything like that. So very powerful right now. Looking to sweep here from, from this point on. And gone, gone, and gone, and GG. Good game. Thank you, GG. The moment you lost, I, I, if they're gonna type something, to sack all your mons by switching. <laughs> oh, 
hopefully they'll learn from this and keep Palmot healthy so that they can actually click Revival Blessing and not be in range of Ice Shards, Extreme Speeds, and anything without even setting up. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Are they actually gonna just uh, sit there now? <laughs> Not bad. This actually makes for a fantastic... Uh, sorry, I didn't think someone would stay locked into a move that only 27. Sorry, I didn't think you knew what you were doing by bringing in Floatzel versus Baxcalibur. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. And goodbye. So, great. What a... <laughs> What a jokester. The guy, the, the dude was literally switching around back and forth. What, what does Floatzel have that would threaten Baxcalibur, right? It doesn't have superpower. It doesn't have close combat. It has probably wave crash. There's no rain, keep in mind. He's already terrored. He's flying um, King Gambit. He's got wave crash, liquidation, probably ice puncher, or ice spinner or something, and aqua jet, probably, right? I'm Baxcalibur. What you, what's he thinking? He's like, sorry, I didn't think you'd stay in and click the same move over and over again when I don't do any damage to you. But I do think that's where I'm going to end this video off. I think this was a very satisfying video of thumbnail text. I've gotten enough thumbnail text that I need for this video. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed seeing this team put in the work. I mean, Fortress, we got some really nice highlight knockouts. And I think, you know, it did what I wanted it to do in this video. So that's great. And then we got to see uh, Dragonite, the Chesto Rest set put in the work, and the Zoroark Deception, as well as uh, among many other things like uh, the people that were talking in this video, which I very much enjoyed seeing as well. So yeah, I look forward to hearing from you all in the comments. Actually, you know, leave a comment if you get to this point in the video, leave a comment and uh, say that you watched the whole thing. Say GG is Envy and let me know uh, what your favorite part was. I'd like to know and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.